Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to unbox the 7 and 1 4 inch steel cutting circular saw model Evo Saw 180 HD. I got this from Amazon for $169. So let's get to it. Get a box cutter. Okay, so this is what's inside. It's a very big case. Okay. okay, so there's nothing left inside the box. So, what is this? I do believe it's the barcode. This one. Okay. In this case, let's take a brief look at the case. Okay. It's got a latching type, lock, locking action type uh, lock. Okay, so inside we've got the, I do believe the manual. We've got safety glasses. We've got, uh, I do believe this is safe to say, this is the adapter for the vacuum, a wrench, a, I don't know what that is for, but these are a pair of carbon brushes. And we've got the actual saw itself. Well, Inside the plastic. Okay. Now. Sorry about that. So let's take a look at the saw. This is the saw, it's quite heavy. We're going to weigh that in a few seconds just to give you a much more closer look of the saw. Okay. okay, this is made in China, I don't know if you can read that, anyway, it's made in China, made in PRC, so let's do a quick test, first let's check if the steel blade is mounted on firmly. I'll be right back. By the way, <laughs> we cannot see it clearly because it's made of black. I just painted black but this this is the guide intended for the saw. So it came with a guide like so. You do that. You have this knob here to lock that down. Okay. Let's just put it that there. Let's check all the features of this machine. Okay, let's slap on there tight. Here we've got the the lock for the depth. So we're going to so that way you can adjust the depth of the, your cut. You can lock it down again. Here we have a switch for the an overload switch. This I believe is the knob with which we can remove this case here. Let's try that now. Basically. So it's that's nice. It's a, a what you call this type of system. It's a catch screw. But you, you cannot take the screw all the way out so this is the cover for the blade 
I do believe as well this is where most of the uh, what they call that sawdust or would accumulate and here is the screw with which you can take this out and install the, the adapter for if you want to put a vacuum cleaner on so okay let's check it Blade is on the tight. This is the lock, I believe, for the blade counterclockwise. By the way, this is the lock with which you depress so that you can, when you tighten down the screw, the blade as well as the motor won't turn with it. Okay, let's make sure that's under tight. Okay. One more. Okay. So let's put the cover back on. Let's first do a quick check rotation. See if it clears everything. It does. Yeah. Okay. So by the way, we can also adjust and make 45 or angle cuts you just need to loosen this knob and then this knob here as well so it allows you to make bevel cuts okay so let's tighten that down Let's remove the guide. I'm not going to need that for now. So we are going to weigh this machine. Let's see. Okay. It weighs about 5.8 kilos. Let's measure the cord length. Looks pretty long. Okay, so the cord has got a nice length to it. See? This is 9 feet. From there, I would say that's about 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I would say about 13 and a half feet. Okay, so we, before we perform an actual test or actual cutting, let's just do a quick uh, check of the electric motor, see if it runs smoothly. So again, this is 120 volts, that's why we have a uh, transformer. So. Okay, this is the trigger switch. By the way, you cannot depress on this switch in order for you to do that you need to press down on this button here in order to be able to depress the trigger okay. anyway there's no initial heat so let's take this baby out and Let's perform some cutting. 
This is the material that I've got laying around. So let's start with the smallest one and work our way up. Okay, so let me clamp that down on the vise. Okay, so let's start with this rebar. Let's cut that down. Let's make sure the wire is cleared. Very nice. Okay, let's do one quick cut again. Seems like you're really cutting nothing. So now you cut the square bar on. Let's try to cut that. Move on. Uh, let's start with that little half inch or an inch tubing right there. By the way, just in case you're wondering, it doesn't have any heat on the blade nor on the motor. So let's cut this thing. Okay, make sure I'm recording. Okay. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's do one more cut. Yeah, that's actually very nice. Okay. Okay, so let's touch. Make sure the trigger, your hand is off the trigger. There's no heat on it. No heat on the motor. Cut this. This uh, about that. Uh, an inch and three fourths tubing. Okay. Wow, oh, that's actually very nice. I, I don't know if you can let's see if there's heat. There's no heat on the blade, no heat on the motor. There's a very nice clean cut. Let's see, there's also no heat on here, I'm actually very nice, very happy with this. I'll do one more cut, uh, I'll just change the angle of the camera, I'll be right back. So this is what I'm talking about, this is actually a very nice feature, it's a transparent, I do believe, made of plastic, piece of plastic, with which you can use, uh, actually see what you're cutting. So. Let's do one last cut. Okay. I hope that was caught on camera. So let's move on to much more video material. Okay, so this right here is a two inch pipe. Okay. Let's cut this next. clean through so this is about two inch I mean two inches about one eighth thickness okay so let's move on to bigger material be right back okay so this right here is about uh, 
3 inches part of my acceleration I'm actually very surprised power dusted I'm very happy so let's do this now this pipe around but okay I've managed to flip the shoe bar very nice I'm actually very excited with this <laughs> okay so let's move on to that next that's the biggest material that I've got laying around okay let's cut this next this is about three and a half inches in diameter so let's cut this next Cut, but still cut it anyway. Okay, so let's cut these snacks. No heat actually, you can actually begin to touch the material with your bare hands. Now, I can tell you this this here, this thing right here, beats an angle grinder and a metal cutting blade by a mile. I tell you, it's just a breeze to use, and cutting metal is like nothing. Okay, just for fun, I do believe it's quite clear that this thing is going to cut this wood but what I'm curious about is how clean is how clean the cut is going to be so let's do that next Basically, if you can see that, that's a very nice clean cut right there. Let me bring the camera closer. Okay, see? Come on, zoom in, uh, focus. So that's a very nice clean cut right there. So I've clamped the wood down much better. So let's do another cut okay. 
cut right through basically it's, that's a very smooth cut so overall the evolution saw let's take a look at the saw that's collected let me unplug this okay check if it's still running no more okay so let's take out this cover right here and let's see all the sawdust collected okay so this is about it including the steel i don't know what you call that what's the proper term for that okay see this is the steel so anyway so let's wrap this video up i've already wrapped the machine back inside this case i've already installed the adapter for the vacuum i've already cleaned it up and all in all my impression with this machine is, is that it is exceptional i'm very 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 pleased with this uh, power tool I've always wanted to have a circular saw, but ever since I saw Evolution, I've heard of Evolution, circular saw, uh, I've wanted one. Uh, I figured that if I'm going to have a circular saw, might as well get one that is able to cut wood, steel, and aluminum. So, full disclosure, I do not advertise for Evolution. I do not advertise for this product, nor am I affiliated with Evolution or any seller for that matter. So. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.